For a long time, we regarded nature as nothing more than a source of natural richness. We are converting raw materials into marketable products, and at the end of their life cycle, they become waste. But as we increasingly adopt a circular economy, we are seeing a rise in social entrepreneurs who are converting waste to value. Today, we bring you the story of green pavers converting plastic waste into affordable and sustainable building materials. We turn waste plastic into affordable construction material. We convert raw plastic into fencing posts. We convert the plastic into driveway blocks, solar roofing tiles, and we convert that plastic into walkway slabs. What we are trying to demonstrate here is the value of waste uh, into the bigger construction industry. We are currently into building blocks, which are interlocking blocks, which is quite easy in terms of labor. That's our first sale. It's easy in terms of labor. It's um, adequately improved from the environment. So it doesn't rot when it comes to adverse weather. It doesn't, uh, the termites don't get to it. Uh, its longevity is well advanced because we use it in terms of uh, walling and then we have the roofing tiles. So in general, being the green aspect of it, 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 it doesn't get well affected with the weather environment. And we got a model where we've got like about 600 uh, youth, a lot of them being street families. We are trying to rehabilitate to make them useful and uh, to get them how to earn a decent living out of waste collection. Mimi kabla nikuja hapa nilikuwa shamba boy na ni kamboni imenibadilisha maisha niko na naweza pata chakula hapa naweza lipa rent nasaidia wazazi kutoka hapa niko na bibi na watoto wana nawalisha kwa hii kazi so ni kazi imenisaidia pakubwa sana katika maisha yangu kuendelea mbele Ningeomba Munga kinisaidia nikitoka hapa niko na skills nimejifunza mtu mingi ku fix stima ku operate machine maintenance kitu ambapo sikuwa najua nimejifunzi hapa hivi Currently we lift about 100 tons of plastic monthly and that goes into creating employment, addressing waste management, curbing slum proliferation, and also giving a platform to access affordable energy. Kwangu Mimi, sio ni uchafu hapa maana pesa ile nitapata hapa kwa hii kazi chafu hiyo pesa hiyo hiyo yule mwingine atapata hakuna pesa tofauti itakuja ya upesa kazi chafu na pesa ya kazi safi ni hiyo moja tu tunatumia watu wote but when you talk about the plastic recycled roofing tile we're talking of a product that will last guarantee 40 years, a product that will not be affected by corrosion. That's uh, places that have acidic kind of environment, places that have uh, too much rain or heat. And also, where it's extremely hot, it has, absorbs heat. Plastic, remember, it's been made under 300 degrees Celsius of heat. So by the time this weather of ours of 40 degrees or 50 degrees, say extreme, even if it's negative of 15 degrees, it's quite impossible for that to penetrate in. Mm. 
Recycling will actually change the environment we are in today and transform lives. Because as a social entrepreneur, my role is to transform a social challenge into an opportunity. That can only be done with an integrated society where government, private sector, NGO, financial institutions all come together to chase a common goal. That is the way to go and then encourage uh, KEFTA to take the lead, to bring everybody on board, to see to it that really recycling as a practice is entrenched within the curriculum that we learn in higher education systems. Taka ni mali. Taka ni mali. Taka ni mali.